Hello, welcome. We are solving Advent of Code Enclosure. Today is day 12 of year 2022, so let's get to it. Um, you tried contacting elves using your handheld device, but the river you're following must be too low to get a decent signal. You ask the device for a height map of the surrounding area. Okay, height map. Um, so A is the lowest, Z uh, is the highest. All the incredible height map all marks for your current position S and the location that should get the best signal E. Your current position S has elevation A and the location that should get the best signal has elevation Z. You'd like to reach E, but to save energy, you should do it as few steps as possible. During each step, you can move exactly one square up, down, left, or right to avoid needing to get out your climbing gear. The elevation to the destination square can be at most one higher than the elevation of your current square. Okay, that is if your current elevation is M, you could step the elevation N. Okay. Elevation of the destination square can be much lower. Okay, so you can go down or one up, yeah, simple. Wrong monitor on stream. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. You are in fact correct. Thanks. Uh, how, do I, how do I change the monitor? It's also a paper. It's like screen share. Okay. Entire screen, but yeah, like this. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, hmm, I, I didn't notice anything wrong. Uh, that's a stupid. I mean, OBS works, doesn't work for me, and uh, Twitch Studio doesn't work for me. Nothing basically works these days, uh, but they don't work differently. Okay. Okay, so this pass, yeah, you can kind of, okay, whatever. Uh, this is the map, which is also, I guess, okay-ish. Right? Um, I guess, yeah, by, by, by the way, I'm using a new color scheme. How do you like it? Um, wait, what? This is actually a little bit, okay. Uh, this is a little bit wrong, actually. It should be like this. It was set up for laptop, but I'm on desktop now, so. Yeah, like this. And we can probably move it here. So you can see my walls and stuff, but yeah. Okay, okay. Um, maybe see a little bit of background and my folders and stuff, my desktop. Can I? Hide icons. No. No. Okay. Well, whatever. Then, then, then we'll make it like this, like some. Okay. So we have sample. Uh, sample is pretty straightforward. Um, this is a wrong project. What we need is the twelve file, right? Dave 12, okay, we copy template, um, this goes to sample, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Goes like this. We, are we going to visualize? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. Um, but we are going to need also this. Okay. This has kind of nice structure to it, kind of ish. But. Um, <laughs> Basically, it's the same 
A star algorithm, I guess, right? Uh, as we had previously. So, and we have actually map right now, right? So, I guess, uh, you know what? what where was I using this? Uh, was it in 2018? Yeah, map and purity queue and probably vector. So I did some some stuff um, for building a map. So basically, we're going to do this map make map set. Okay, and size is a bit too right again. Okay. okay, so okay, so what we're going to do. Let lines split lines data. Uh, so basically, width is gonna be count first lines. Height is gonna be oops uh, count lines. Okay. So map is gonna be map make with two. With height, okay, and now do seek uh, e y lines, and uh, no, sorry, uh, zip lines, range lines, and uh, actually it's going to be y and character and. Uh, uh, y and line and x and character zip range line like this okay let so we are not going to use letters we are going to use uh, height or elevation um, and character has int value something like Uh, char value. Wait, um, is this a number? And do you convert? Do I just? Should fix it at some point. Uh, we do this now. Why? Why not the alabaster theme? Oh, it's not sublime. No, it's sublime. I just, I know I was in the mood for something different. I always wanted to try a blue scheme. It is sublime. It says it right here. Um, <laughs> I don't like like dark themes. They are like a little bit boring. I don't know. I just 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 for the difference of it. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to pair parse data. Um, okay, seems to work, but it seems to work, right? Maybe um, we want minus um, Like this, okay, okay. Um, I'll actually uh, have to map set with two x y. Well, map with two x y e. Okay. Um, So start has a 
right? Uh, and has um, Z, right? Something like this. Okay, why not VS Code? <laughs> um, I kind of hate VS Code actually. It's too slow for me, and it has well, it's, it's 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 okay performance-wise, but it also has too many features, and I don't like that. Sublime Text has like very few features, but uh, because of that, it doesn't feel as overwhelming. Um, yeah, basically, basically like that. If you if you open, I think I have it. Yeah, I have it right here. If we open like the same file, for example, um, let's let's try open Advent of Code. I'm not sure how it works for Closure, but for JS it works. Like like why is this like underlined? I don't I don't want this to be underlined, right? Um, but no, this is yes, this is decent at least. But sometimes uh, it's like, what what is this? Like what is this? Uh, sometimes also it tells you like like what's wrong with this? Why <laughs> why they just appeared? Uh, sometimes it also tells you like weird stuff like who edited this line and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, you see stuff appears. I, I, don't, I didn't ask for this. Like, I don't want to like to move my mouse and have half of my code like covered with pop-ups. I, I don't think it happens. Then. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, and there's also notifications. Man, I, I hate notifications actually. Um, why is this line blue, for example? I don't know, it's like extract. Yeah, I don't need all that. It's just like mental, uh, like these light bulbs, like fuck that. No, um, like what's wrong with zip? Like I define zip here, <laughs> uh, you know? Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's that's why not VS Code. And in Sublime, like yeah, I, I turn some stuff off probably. I, I don't think I turn that much like uh, Probably line highlighting is the sound thing I really turn off. Maybe I should make it. I know. We'll see. My, maybe it's fine. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll try. Okay. Um, so the, the other thing that we need is actually to, well, otherwise it's CH and Start like this and and like this and um, okay. So I guess we want this concierge if it start. We do v reset start. We do x y a. Okay, if it's and like I just don't want to do another round of this. Um, reset and like this. E map set and technically we return. Well, I guess with meta map um, start, start, and, and. But I guess start is always like zero, zero, right? No, actually not zero, zero. In this case, start is here and end is here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, wrong, yeah, this should be do seek actually. And this should end here and like this. Okay, so this array uh, with height and it also has start and end. So all good for now. Um, all good for now. Now, oh, we can also parse like sample, right? 
Uh, that's sample one, actually. Yeah. Width eight, height five. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And we can see if meta is here. It's it's here. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So we parsed it. Uh, now uh, what we actually need is a star algorithm, right? And this works with like we have this queue here. Um, we need a cost function kind of map. Uh, well, yeah, and we and we also need so data is sparse data start key start and meta map let's call it map um it's an unfortunate name because we might need a map but uh, hopefully i won't forget about it uh then we need cost right and it's uh, map make um, it's w v two w map height map okay and uh, we fill it with um, how much? Okay. Uh, how big is uh, it's like eighty by forty times forty? Okay, let's fill it with this. Just just to be sure, right? This is the longest it should take us, uh, but probably shorter. Um, I, I can put long max value, but uh, this just prints better. So, okay, so this is cost, and we also need a queue, which is gonna be um, what like priority, like this, right? Priority queue, cost of n, and we need cost of n, um, costs. Basically, this 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 means start zero like we're reaching start takes zero basically that's, that's what it says what it says um the cost some mutable q is mutable <laughs> atom and we use what we use priority q Like this, um, cost of fan is gonna be cost of fan um, well yeah probably cost of fan goes here cost of fan is a fan of case x well actually you know what of x or p and we actually have distance somewhere, I believe. This, yeah. uh, V2, dist, p, and. Okay, uh, so the closer, the better, right? Kind of. Uh, uh, yeah, this will make nice visualization, I think. I feel like okay. So we have four, four priority queue, and we have to start with something, right? So our in our case, we just start is start. Okay, so this is where uh, kind of we are going to run our loop around. Um, now, uh, what do you do? Basically, we, run, we write a loop that takes um, a 
kind of, uh, I kind of don't like that, but yeah. Um, uh, costs Q. And the, the way it works is The way it works is like this. Actually, Actually now what? Oh yeah, cost of fun will be slightly different, slightly different. But it's okay. Um, reduce, blah, blah, blah. Start with this and basically like this. We also need map, of course. So we need uh, map costs Q, maybe like this. Okay. Mm. Basically, pause. Right. We don't need this, actually. You know what? We, we, what we need is, I have neighbors for, actually. Okay, yeah. Well, this fun functions start to be kind of useful, okay. So, if there is, I'll just pause. Um, so current score for where we are going is, uh, this is gonna be like pause with dash. Okay, sco current score for when we are going is costs pause. Well, kind of like this, okay? Um, like this, okay? Um, So elevation is basically map get map pause map get map pause and when um, e So basically, if new elevation is bigger than old elevation plus one, uh, we we can't go there, right? Mm -hmm. So current score at or current cost is this and this position basically, and we are going to get there in cost prime okay and if cost prime same or worse we don't go and basically otherwise um, what we do is kind of like this uh, costs pause Okay. Uh, 
like this. Uh, this should already work kind of ish. Uh, we are lacking cost FN somewhere, but uh, no, we don't like, we're not lacking cost FN actually, you know what? We have Q here, but um, I think this handles cost FN actually. Okay, so. Um, yeah. Uh, so what we need now is basically while while not empty Q. Okay. Um, we are going to do swap q you know what um hmm. let's put q here like this and swap q uh, step map costs okay and finally we are going to return map get costs and this should be part one actually um not empty q what is q Okay, yeah, yeah, this, this is wrong, obviously. Okay, now something is, is wrong, right? But uh, why do we get distance me minus? Um, hmm. Okay, let's, let's add some start end. Wait, what? Where is... I don't see. You know what? Yeah, 31. Is it correct? I think it's correct. 350. Let's see if that's correct. That's the right answer. Well, you can never go with uh, a star. Uh, as you walk up the hill, you suspect that elves uh, will probably build visualization for this because I like, well, I kind of like visualizations. Obviously. <laughs> um, hmm. You know what? Yeah, maybe we should build visualization. Uh, the problem with it is that we, we need to introduce global state. And I'm not sure how, how to handle this best, but yeah, we can we can do that, obviously. Just yeah, let's do visualization because I, I like visualization section. Um, the only problem is that my A star doesn't give you the pass. I don't think. Right? It just gives you cost. Hmm. I would like to see a pass actually, but I don't know. Um, Uh, 
Okay, so this is little trick. Which is not exactly good practice, but I feel like for advent of code it's okay actually. So we define a bunch of global variables. Start and in this case is terrain um, and we define Q, right? Okay, so basically we don't need all that. And our solution is while not empty queue. Um, we go here. Probably can skip this map and costs because they are global now. Queue is not global, so we move it here. Mm -hmm. I oh fuck I killed cost cost of fan I guess definitely cost of fan uh, P V2 dist P out right we probably should add elevation here as well so the closest the closer it is to elevation um, the better so we can have better cost function. It's better to step uh, up, right? So it's basically plus this and minus, like how, how much is the, is the minus in z in a 25, okay? So minus 25 map get Terrain uh, and um, no, no, wait, 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 wait uh, terrain P. Well, actually, yeah, like this. All right. So it's kind of more costly if it's higher. Okay, uh, this works. Let's see if this works. No, that doesn't. What's wrong? Uh, we have no pointer for some reason. Okay, we have no pointer somewhere. Um, P and terrain. Do I still use the word map somewhere? Yeah, I do use the word map somewhere. So, so this becomes terrain, right? And costs. Okay, so now sample one is. And no, now actually this doesn't matter. <laughs> um, okay, so it's three fifty. And it takes 15 milliseconds. Okay, whatever. So, but uh, the most important part is we are now have we now have global states. So basically, we can eval how are we looking for pass. Uh, I wish I wish you can you can track the pass. Okay, so let's let's do visualization. Let's let's find where we last had some visualizations. I guess here, right? So we do this, um, insert it here, uh, yeah, like this. Also, 
a kind of whatever. So we need on paint and we need this kind of um, part one. Okay. So we have scale, uh, rope visited, whatever. This probably is wrong. Um, so first thing we need to do is to paint the um, the terrain, right? Uh, so to do that, we are going to be to do a Y is gonna be range zero. I think range takes end by default. Uh, terrain X is gonna be range uh, with terrain, right? Um, so draw rect. Rect is gonna be Mm. Kind of like this, uh, yeah, like with open paint, paint fill. Uh -huh. um, rect W multiply basically X scale. Multiply while scale, scale, scale. Uh, we have 80 by 40. So it can be like 80, like say we have 800 and we need 40, 20. So it's probably 40 because DPI, right? Um, and here we need paint set color okay uh, paint set color color make ARGB or uh, make RGB I don't know uh, color E is gonna okay, E is gonna be map get terrain uh, v2xy, right? Um, alpha is gonna be E divided by 25, multiplied by 255, converted to int, color make RGB, A, 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 uh, paint, paint, okay, so this will draw what we need, um, and it's gonna animate for us, but not right now, right, so, okay, no such namespace paint, this is correct, import, Skidra color, I think, like this. And still, oh no, not color, color and paint, like this. Set color, um, what? Set color int color. Yeah, because it uh, has to be like this. Okay, uh, this is kind of our map. Oops. Yeah, kind of our map, which I actually quite like. I'm not sure how I'm going to to render um, Q, but. Why not? Uh, okay, so what we are going to do is we, we do basically kind of the same, right? Um, but this time, um, x, y, q, okay? So we take q and for 
we don't need elevation or we don't need alpha actually you know what uh, what we need is unchecked int so let's say it's uh, red or green like half half transparent green right uh, and basically we do the same okay now it's red for something we do have q though right x y oh this is because yeah i know a priority q seek yeah 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 uh, like this and it's it's not working right now swap q step uh, once a while it starts searching so this is how it searches basically all green stuff is stuff that we are currently searching um, we can actually build the pass but we will need a second array really yeah it's, it's also kind of slow right but uh that's okay it's expected actually let's let it run um you know what we also probably want to touch visited so the way it works is uh, let's set like slightly that uh it goes like well, you know what? Actually, we when uh, map get we can actually paint it green if it's visited. Uh, we know the answer is three fifty, so we can actually do green um, if us. Uh, distance right distance it's ma oh it's actually cost uh, map get costs with 2xy okay so this is gonna be er cr is gonna be c divided by 350 multiply it by 255 and okay if smaller c than this otherwise so if it has a cost we use green right oh wait 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 uh yeah we, we won't get green this way we use green otherwise we use gray And we don't do this. So now you can see points that were attached and painted depending on the, their cost, basically. I'm not sure why this became black. It should have became like it should be. Could I run BFS breads first search? Um, I probably could. So you just replace Q with what? A vector, right? Kind of. It's all because it, it makes one step per, uh, per frame. So basically, or maybe it couldn't find a way with this cost to the top. You should actually, you know what, I should paint probably a red 
finish line right um, Yeah, let's uh, render also start and end, so we know where they are. Okay, so this is, I I guess this black stuff is unreachable, sort of, which is, which makes sense, I guess, right? Probably does. Um, yeah. No. I expected that we would see. Huh. Yeah, now we see red. Uh, yeah, this is a start. This is end. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I will try Brett's first search in a sec. Um. Did I want it something else? No, probably not. Oh yeah, right. The the final pass. Yeah, I want it. I want it final pass. Yeah, let's let's do uh, draw. Let's draw pass first. So the way uh, to do that is like here we have costs, right? Um, what we need is paths. <laughs> uh, the problem with map is that it supports integers right now or longs, I don't know. Huh. Maybe. It doesn't have to. All right. So everywhere it says longs. Index, oh yeah, index uh, is okay, but get and set. Essentially, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I don't see why map can't contain. Um, so, I see. Um, it kind of needs. I guess I can change this to count, right? We still have a set, like it needs to know the type of array basically. Huh. Can we make it object array, right? We can make it object. Like we don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't care about actually, you know what? We don't care what type of array this is. Like it, it, it makes no sense. I think is To array is not what we need. Make array. How do I, like if I, I say object, it's class, right? I guess this should be good enough. So this is objects, 
right this is objects this is objects okay I, I would actually never understand why in Java like arrays have type uh, if you can <laughs> you, you you can always only store objects in arrays like you can store well no 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 well you can actually can no yeah yeah uh, my bad. Yeah, you can store primitive types, of course. Yes, that was what we were doing. So we, we, we like basically we add boxing right now. We are adding boxing to this. But uh, let's see if it becomes uh, sure slower. Uh, this is the wrong method. Um, yeah, I probably want to stop this. Okay, we don't want this. We want this and yeah, it's not 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 significantly slower. You can the pref step for every step to restore pass. I did something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm doing. But just uh, my 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 pass uh, like my map function uh, used to only store longs, and I know I need to store coordinates basically right now. So. Uh, I don't think you need to fill nil. I don't think you need this at all. Right. Um, so pass. Uh, we set here pass uh, pause pause. Right. So basically, to this, for this point, the previous point we came from is this. That's what we are saying. Though we still work, we still seems to work. And now, now we are going to draw a pass, actually. Um, should I draw it like red or something? Probably, I probably should. Uh -huh. Okay, so when. Um, So if we have reached the end, right? At least if we have at least one pass to the end. So what we are going to do is we are going to go in a loop, um, which is going to be our point basically, when P, uh, when some, I don't know. <laughs> uh, map get pass p. Okay. So if it has a previous point, essentially uh, that's what we are doing. We are going to draw a square. We are going to draw like yeah. Oops. We are going to draw. Well, actually, no, no. You know what? Uh, when well, we know that P has. Let's see. So this is a cost. This is alpha. Uh, we set color. In uh, in our case, it's going to be red. Right. Um, we also want x, y for p. We draw a rectangle. And that's it, right? We, we draw p. After that, if uh, basically we don't need. You know, you know what? We don't need this check probably and we don't need as I see it this check. Okay, so um
essentially it's like this, but it, <laughs> uh, there's probably an closed bracket somewhere. Probably right here, yeah. Okay, um, now if I do this, so it hasn't reached it yet, but it's going to, right? It's trying to, it's like, yeah, so now we have this pass. Is it the best pass? I don't know, actually. We probably, we probably want to, like, no. Oh, we have different paths now. But this is, <laughs> this looks so uh, New Year or Christmas or whatever, like, the color scheme is, like, perfect. This is actually, this is, this is really beautiful. Yeah, they, they basically made us draw a uh, pine tree, Christmas Christmas tree uh, in this task. And I, 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 I didn't actually have it in mind, like, like it's just uh, green and red are two easiest colors to get, right? Uh, like red is, you, you, you feel the first, and uh, of three ends, and green is you feel the second. So it's just two simplest e colors to get. Uh, especially if you want to scale like from zero to, uh, to here. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's so nice. Uh, it works. It works for this. This is problem. Okay, so I guess we. Uh, I should probably show score somewhere, but whatever. I, it's probably the final result, anyways. Let me. Yeah. Makes no sense probably going there. Okay, let me, uh, let me what? Let me what? Let me commit this or pretend I commit this. Um, eh. I have cover covering this. Let me pretend I commit this. Like, let, let me stage it, okay? So why I'm doing this is uh, that I, I want to try Brad's first search as well, right? And uh, for that, it will require some modifications, but not much. Uh, basically, this means this is going to be just a vector, OK? Uh, cost of n, we don't care. Uh, here we take peak. Uh, here we take uh, pop. Um, this is correct. And somewhere in here, we do seek. We don't need to do that. Okay, something isn't conch, 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 conch. Yeah, this conch so it should be like this. We take from the end, we add to the end. This is bread first, right? Or is it? It's either, it's probably depth first, actually. You can see how much less effect efficient it is. Or is it right? Why is it stopping so? It it can go from here. Wow, interesting. So basically, uh, the elevation change here is so big, you can't step there. Yeah, this is depth first, right? But you can walk over there. I, I have trouble like understanding what's. I think Q is bright green, brightest green, and but it's overlapped with terrain issues. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, if you really want to, you can actually get back here all, from all the way there. Uh, you just probably you shouldn't be wanting this. Um, and another thing we can do here. Okay, so let me change something real quick. So the way we draw Q, I want it to be. Let's make it. Actually, let's make it blue. So this is Q. This is like edge that we are expanding. 
Okay, and uh, now what we can do is actually, if we change this from conch Q to, you know what, actually, yeah, let's stop. Um, let's comment this out. And now what I want to do is something else. So I want to do part one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there is this approach. So right now, go as fast as you can. Well, <laughs> it was too, <laughs> it was too fast, right? Uh, yeah. What happened here is basically depth first finds the path eventually. Um, okay, but it's too fast. Um, and let's let's try. Okay, so vec, vec cons pause q. So this would be the other way around, I think. Yeah, this is also inside. okay. So we we change it to this. Yeah, this is um, breadth first, not depth first. Which is kind of beautiful as well, and so on. and it kind of it feels faster, right? Yeah, it's much faster, I think. It's much faster. Oh, it's so beautiful. OK, let me, uh, real quick, I want to record this as a video. I hope you excuse me, because it is beautiful. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll make a clip in Twitch. Yeah, yeah I, I just make a video for Twitter, which does the same. Actually, Brett's first feels like it's faster than even a star for some reason. Doesn't it? Boom. Uh huh. Okay. Um, a star, a star. Let's return it. Okay. So basically, what we do is discard this, discard this. Um, discard this, discard this. We keep this. Kind of. Um, we keep this as well, actually, and I think I messed up. Like this set color should be outside. Yeah, and this is a star, um, a star, right? But it kind of well, it finds the correct path much faster, and then it goes from there. Maybe I should use white instead of um, blue. I think white would look better, actually. Right? Or red, maybe. M maybe still red-ish. I don't know, like... Yeah, let's record this as well. No, breath first is, is faster here, actually. I 
This makes too many boundaries, and Brett Schwartz like eliminates a lot of boundaries. It just like moves uh, together, so it, the number of boundaries stays low, kind of. And here, like there are too many branches. We still have part two though. Oh, so so like light green there is like we found a really long way there, and now like darker green is we found like shorter path. It still tries to reach the top zone, see, but like it's like oh no no it's not faster like ah it's not faster either so like yeah. Then buzzer. Okay, that's that's a picture. Um, what I'm going to do is, yeah, we'll stay, 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 wait, what? This is not, I didn't save, yeah. Uh, we're keeping it like this, keeping it like this. Uh, I, the one thing I want to try is, is maximum speed. See how fast this is. It's it's instant. It's instant. Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's switch to part two. Actually, as you walk up the hill, you expect that elves will want to turn this into a hiking trail. The beginning isn't very scenic, though. So perhaps you can find a better starting point to maximize exercise while hiking. The trail should start as low as possible. Elevation A. The goal is still the square market A. However, the trail should still be direct, taking the fewest steps to reach its goal. So you make, okay, uh, you will need to find the shortest path from any square at elevation A to the square marked E. Again, consider the example, example from above. Now there are six choices for starting position, five marked A plus the square marked S that counts. If you start at the bottom left square, you can reach the goal most quickly. This path reaches the goal in only 29 steps, the fewest possible. What is the fewest steps required to move starting from any square with elevation A to the location that should get the best signal? Okay, so um, it feels like part two is actually better served with Brad's first search uh, but it has to be how many letters say there are thousand letters say right um, so we start from the end right and we go backwards oh uh, no we start from the end and we start like Brad's first search and basically, oh, this is very simple. The first A we find is is what we need, <laughs> right? Right. But you can't go down more than like one. You can go up, but not down. Yeah, this is like basically it's reverse. Yeah, uh, this is like exactly Brett's first search. So, not sure about cool visualization, but um, parts two, part two. Okay, so we have part two here. Um, let's see what we have in part one. So we have like this. Um, right. So we have cost of n, which we don't care. We have pass, we have costs. So we have costs. Uh, we also don't care about costs that much. We don't care about Q. Well, basically what we need is <laughs> we need a Q2, Q, Q2. Uh, which is uh, which starts at end and which is um, I think there is persistent Q or something like this. Uh, 
uh, no, this is called persistent queue empty. Yeah, and on the rear picks from the front. Yeah, this is what we need. And closure length persistent queue empty. Conj and okay. So this is how we start. We basically don't need anything else. Um, is it closure? Yeah, it's closure. Uh, we don't need anything else. We start from Q2, we expand at the moment. How do I put like, Does it sounds okay if I put it right here? It covers my face. Uh, yeah, this is closure. Um, basically exactly the same algorithm as this. Uh, we probably need step two, right? Um, Let's put it here. Um, step two, uh, pause is going to be peak Q2, well, Q, whatever, it's called Q in our case. Uh, pop Q, pause, except, except uh, we are going down this time. So. E. Um. So we can go from uh, four, one, two, three, four, five. To f up to f six, right? This is E. We can go from here to here, but if you go from here, from six, I feel like it should be like this. Um, I also don't like this, so it's probably... So new position plus one. New so basically we want from six Oh, we can't go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is oh, yeah, this is wrong. I, I actually I, I I made a mistake. From uh what from five, six, seven, eight, nine, we can go to six, right? Uh, this is a straight way. And uh, backwards is. So basically this plus one, if it's smaller then yeah, yeah, this is correct condition, okay? So cost we have no, uh, the only Condition, the only other condition, if, um, what do we need to determine? What are the few steps? What's the few steps? Okay, so if um, a map get terrain pause prime, so if we had zero elevation, right, we return empty version of a Q, so like, we are done, okay. Um, otherwise, it's, it's pretty standard, so this is step two. Uh, we have, we start with Q2, Q2, 
you to step two. And now the, the, the only stuff we, we have to do here, actually, we need to find that value. So what we need to do is for we will cover terrain if costs costs yeah passes pass uh, when and equals uh, yeah yeah we also need elevation actually terrain uh, costs and e zero and costs is smaller than this we return uh, cost basically and we want like this okay um well we actually want to reduce mean like this okay uh, yeah of course not like this but uh, like this okay uh, cost prime we don't care about cost wait cost prime is do we need cost prime actually yeah we kind of do right we still care about cost so we, we actually need uh, all this yeah so these are important Okay, so this is important. Maybe if so, like basically, if we don't do this, this is gonna be full search, right? Zero. Huh. Something is wrong. There's cost zero. It's it couldn't be cost zero. You know what? Yeah, this is uh, because we have this, actually. We should have it here. And we should have it here and okay. Conch. Okay, so it found no way anywhere. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe you can, yeah, who knows. Uh, does it do anything at all, like or not? Okay, um, 
let's do step two q2 what what is this this is some unrappel nonsense but i have no idea what this means What are these arrows? So basically we end up on a Okay, we should be able to go from say 25 to 24 or 25, right? Or like from six, we should be able to go to five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on, right? Right. So from two actually from e to so this plus one would be six seven eight nine like this if this is this has to be bigger or equals yeah, this seems correct actually uh, hmm. I wonder what's wrong cost did it change something about cost no right start yeah cost should be the same it's just counting steps I think it's not Brett's first, though. Um, we need this, right? What's wrong? E off. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah, this is somehow not working. <laughs> um, um, uh, why? 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 So this part we change, right? And peak. No, no, no. It's actually no. This is this is correct is it? because we we use like priority queue. This is correct actually. Yeah, we are not using vector, right? But uh, so, so what is our? Ah, I guess it's it means like priority queue. Okay, okay, so it's priority queue. Cool. Um, let's. Okay, it's still priority queue. Um, hmm. So I guess we we we, <laughs> we do uh, print a len pause pause star. I don't know what else to do. This 
this seems correct. Uh, map contains post star post, post prime. Sorry. Um, wait, what? What's? No, this is correct as well. Um, do print when e e e prime uh, on this condition. We do have pre pref, right? True, false, true, false. Okay, so there are some true states. You know what? Um, actually, want maybe I want to print the queue itself. Um, yeah, probably. Need to seek or even back. Empty. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But it does like yeah, nothing gets added for some reason. So we lose some way. Somewhere. Condition must be false all the way down, okay? <sighs> so this is where we start. This is where we are going. So in this case, we go one to the left. And there is true, 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 true. What's, what's that true? Contains. Okay, that says has to be true. Okay, so elevation. 25, 23. Condition is true. This condition is true. So we exit. Uh, yes. 25, 25. Condition is false. Cost ten thousand. What? But I did send. How did you arrive at? What? This should set cost at end. Let's end, by the way. Huh. So cost prime should be our original position. Right. Because I don't run this part. Okay, so cost is zero. Okay, okay, okay. So we can't run this because we have to reset stuff. That makes sense, kind of. Uh, so this condition is false, right? 
If it's false, we have to skip it. Okay, now there is some action going. So we start here. We get something in the sequences. I think that's a mistake. Yep, pretty much. And now we're slow because of all the printing. But without printing, it should be faster. We're still printing something. Yeah, okay. We're printing something here, yeah, we're printing here. Printing here. Okay, and if we do this, let's see. That's the right answer. Wow! Yay! Okay. Um, <laughs> that was stupid. So this is wrong. Uh, we can also return this condition, but where's fun in that? Um, so let me update actually our visualization here. And what we want to update is um, we want to update. And to draw Q2, right? Um, pass starts from and no, it actually doesn't start from end. That's interesting. Uh, I guess we don't draw a pass in this case. Uh, start. And and here we do do it like this. Um, what? What? <laughs> um, Okay, where is our visualization? Is it running? It's not running actually. Um, but yeah, nothing happens. Um, the reason for that is that. Here we must set actually map set uh, and zero kind of like this. And now it's going. So essentially, I guess all the bright green are zero elevation, right? But yeah, it visualizes. So that's good, right? Um, I probably want to change it to original Q. Because I like it more, kind of. Um, but 
now let's also need to choose this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got our answers, so yeah, let's actually stop this. Let's commit. And we are done. Year twenty twenty two, day twelve. Kind of like this. Commit. Looks great. Well, that was fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, we missed day 11, so we might switch to it now. But uh, let me start recording first.